Thank you. <laughs> We've got a photograph frame in our house. Had it for ages. It hasn't got a photograph in. So I put one in. And my wife said she preferred the photograph frame without the photograph. <laughs> so I took it out. And I got my camera. And I took a photograph of the empty photograph frame. <laughs> I got it developed, and I put the photograph of the empty photograph fame inside the empty photograph fame. I thought that was a compromise. You said it was stupid and childish. <laughs> I thought, right, I'll show you childish. <laughs> so I got my camera. I took a photograph of the photograph frame when it contained the picture of the empty photograph frame. I got that developed, took the photograph of the photograph frame out of the photograph frame and replaced it with the picture of the photograph frame, showing the picture of the empty photograph frame. I thought, that'll show her. But by then, she'd left me. I went... I went swimming today. I go swimming at Garston Recreation Centre. Been swimming there for years. They used to call it Garston Swimming Pool. But now they've got a coffee machine. <laughs> they don't allow petting in the pool. They actually have a specific sign that says, no petting in the pool. So what I've done... <laughs> I've got up a big campaign and we stand outside and we shout, what do we want? It's a pet in the pool. And this morning was great because we had a mass petting. Yeah, we all went along and we petted. But we didn't just pet, we broke other rules as well because we're quite militant. Like I jumped over the footpath. Yeah, don't mess about. And I went swimming just after I'd eaten something. <laughs> and then I dived in in a vertical fashion. <laughs> and went swimming round and round in the diving area. <laughs> then I went swimming in the fast lane but quite slowly. <laughs> then I went swimming in the slow lane, but quite quickly. <laughs> then I went swimming in the middle lane in the wrong direction whilst wearing my fins, face mask and snorkel and cut down jeans. Then I got out, had a cigarette, something to eat. Then I had a drink out of a glass container. Then I pushed somebody in, I ran alongside of the pool and dive-bombed in the shallow end. <laughs> of the mothers and toddlers pool. Well, shouting, splashing, spitting, swearing, ducking, performing acrobatics, <laughs> and petting. And they threw me out because it was a women only session. <laughs> I've got a mate, and he's going to go back next week, and he's going to do the same thing. And he's got a Veruca. <laughs> I'm quite tired tonight. I'm tired all the time. Because we had a baby. We didn't want one. But the thing is, our friends have got them, and we like to fit in. <laughs> it took us ages to get them. It took us six years, and we're older parents. And we looked into adoption, but we've grown attached to him now. We're going to keep him. <laughs> I'm an overprotective dad. I um, failed recently to protect him from a flying swing. <laughs> I had no idea one child contain so much blood. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit unsettling that you're laughing at that bit. 
But you'll be pleased to know he's absolutely fine. It was just a little cut on his head, and it absolutely just poured out of him. Even talking about it now, it makes my voice wobble a bit. It was horrible, and he was just covered in blood. Now, who's Josh? Have you heard of blokes going with the, to the park with a cute-looking dog to attract women? <laughs> Forget that. Get yourself a child with a serious-looking head wound. <laughs> they came flocking! And then we had to go to casualty, and uh, we get there, and uh, I'm carrying him, and, and the receptionist said to us, she took our name, and then she said to me, do you have medical insurance? Which I don't, but I'm covered in blood. I'm holding a floppy. He's gone floppy at this point. He's covered in blood. How much better is the service going to be if we've got medical insurance? Being heckled by a nurse. <laughs> Mr. Hitchmo, we see you're insured. Please step this way into our executive waiting room. Your child should be seen immediately by a crack team of elite surgeons who shall stitch his wound using only the finest quality gossamer surgical thread. And whilst we're taking care of him, we'd like to offer you this courtesy child of equivalent cuteness. <laughs> also, because we've got a baby, we now have to hang around with other people who have babies. We've got these neighbours called Simon and Yaz. I'm middle-aged far too old to know somebody called Yaz. <laughs> and they've got two kids already, and Yaz is quite heavily pregnant at the moment, and the youngest is, and he's nine, oh, he's nine months old, that's, he's nine months old, already he's walking. Apparently that's impressive. I don't think they walk till about one in the wild. <laughs> I've seen him walking, he's not very good. And so she's due to give birth any day, and I just don't know what to say to anybody under 30, and I found myself saying to her, so, Yaz... What do you want, a boy or a girl? And she said, hey, we don't mind. We really don't mind as long as it's healthy. <laughs> as if there are some people in the world somewhere going, oh, we're not particularly bothered if the baby's healthy or not, really. <laughs> Our first child was born with jaundice, colic, cholera, typhoid, gout, scurvy, rickets, arthritis, psoriasis, yellow fever, emphysema, tuberculosis, cystic fibrosis, deep vein thrombosis, ringworm, threadworm, guinea worm, foot and mouth, tennis elbow and kennel cough. But we don't mind because we've got a girl. <laughs> right, you've been um, a lovely audience. And my name's Rob Hitchmo. Please keep supporting the club. Thank you very much. Good night. Ha ha ha!